What if you drilled a tunnel straight through the earth and jumped in? Let's say for fun, you have an indestructible shovel, an infinite budget, and a lot of free time. You dig a perfectly straight tunnel from one side of the earth to the other, right through the core. You line it with ultra heat resistant material, remove all the magma and annoying molten iron, and just to keep things clean, you pump out all the air. Why? Because if there's air in the tunnel, friction and air resistance would slow you down, and we both know you want to fall fast. Now, you jump in. At first, you accelerate rapidly, thanks to gravity. The center of the Earth pulls you with the force of about 9.8 meters per second squared, and you pick up speed quickly. Within minutes, you're flying down the tunnel at thousands of kilometers per hour. No parachute, no brakes, just you, the tunnel, and physics. But here's the fun part. As you fall, gravity starts to weaken. The deeper you go, the more of Earth's mass is now above you, pulling you upward instead. By the time you reach the center of the Earth, you're weightless, moving at maximum speed, roughly 28,000 kilometers per hour. Congratulations, you're now the fastest human burrito ever. Then, gravity flips the script. Now, it's pulling you backward, trying to stop you. And it does, gradually. You slow down the same way you sped up. And if everything's frictionless and perfect, because why not, you'll reach the other end of the tunnel and pop out. Just in time to come to a complete stop, standing upright, like a superhero, for one glorious second. Then you fall back in. You've become a human pendulum, swinging back and forth through the center of the planet forever. Unless someone opens a hatch and scoops you out with a net. Or worse, you forgot to close the other side and end up flung into the sky on the opposite end like a screaming meatball. In short, yes, you could jump through the earth. But don't forget to pack a snack. It's a long way back.